What's up guys, Casper here, and today I have a small unboxing video for you guys. I know I should be having some videos uh, up for you guys soon, but uh, right now um, I, have not have enough I have not had enough time to uh, really make a new video for you guys, as that takes quite some time to do with school and everything. So I will just do this unboxing video instead, as so you guys will still have your weekly videos. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath here. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit, and then, uh, I'm gonna hope I can open this up uh, as quick as possible. If not, uh, there we go. So, uh, I don't know if this sound will be overwhelming, so I'm gonna talk a little bit louder right here. But, I don't know if you guys heard... But there is going to be a new Banjo-Kazooie game, and that is going to be awesome. I myself am a really huge fan of Banjo-Kazooie, and I cannot wait to get this spiritual successor. It's made by uh, Rareware Veterans, so it should be really good. Let me just check some of the papers right here. Yep, that's... Uh... Alright, yep, that's good. So, here we have something I've been waiting for for so long. A white boxed limited edition Smash Bros. controller. I have waited for this for really long and I am really psyched to open this. Um, now, I could have gotten the black one, but this one is imported from Japan. Uh, luckily, it was imported by, a d imported by a Dutch store. So there was no ship, not that much shipping fee for me to pay, just a regular amount. So as you can see, it has the adapter right here, which I should still get, but I wanted to get this first. Then we have these things. It's compatible with Wii U, Wii, and GameCube. We have the logo right here. A ton of the characters on top here. As you can see, I have two amiibo, and there, uh, that's uh, my composite cable. I have a uh, Konky Dong and Ninja Chu. Uh, I've trained him up to level 50, but I should retrain him because uh, I'm not really satisfied with how he moved. And down here we just have some other things. So, um, yeah, let's open this up. I'm really psyched for this. So the box looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I have no question or doubt about it not looking amazing. So here we have it. Let's just see if we can pull it out of here. As careful as possible because it's quite thick. At least the sea stick doesn't want to get out of there. Ah, there we go. So um, let's see. There is just some booklets in there. I'll get those out in a second. So let's see what we have here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely one of the things that I really, really, really love about Nintendo. They can make so many good things, and oh my god, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't have any of the um, original GameCube controllers to really compare this to, but as you can see, it has the silverish uh, Smash Bros. logo right here. It's uh, a really good white color. Uh, my Wii is kind of becoming yellowish, so I can't really compare that. Uh, as you can see, it's got the uh, D-pad, the circle pad, that's really good. Um, all the buttons, star pause, and the C-stick, obviously, which is really cool. Then up here, we obviously have the L and R buttons and the extra Z-trigger, which somehow there's only one, but that doesn't really matter. Then on the back here, I don't know if you guys can see this because of lighting, but... Here it says Nintendo, and here it says some other official things. I can do this, and then it'll look a little better. So, uh, the cord is obviously a whole lot longer than the originals, because this is really where couch gaming came into play. Um, it started a little bit with the NES, of a, uh, or I mean uh, the SNES, and then it came to Nintendo 64, and the cables became even longer. But when it came to GameCube, couch gaming actually really started getting... Uh, into the, you know, regular gaming, and uh, I don't know how to rephrase that, but alright. 
and so they started making longer cords for all the controllers so they would look a lot better and it would be really easy to play on your couch when you would just want to play them with your friends like Goldeneye or something like that. So yeah, pretty sweet controller, looks really good, it feels really good and uh, it's overall just a really good controller and I would love to use this in Smash and Melee and uh, Brawl. So um, yeah guys, that was this video, I hope you all enjoyed this video, little short video. I'm sorry I couldn't get another top 10 or review or something out this week, but uh, I promise there will be more coming in the future. This is just a little filler because I didn't have enough time, and I will see you guys in the next video.